Don't let the pigeon be the music teacher. In an, an adaptation by Mrs. Iris' 2014-2015 class of fourth grade students, based upon the book, Don't Let the Pigeon Drive the Bus, by Mo, Mo Williams. The Solfege Duck family has asked Mrs. Castlebaum for help composing a new song. She will be back in an hour. Don't let the pigeon be the music teacher. Don't let the pigeon teach the kids how to sing. He would go crazy and say, Fa, la, ti, do, so, me. I'll give you five bucks if I can be the music teacher, the pigeon says. Let's go, ducks. Me, say me. Do, say do. La, say la. So, say so. Fa, say fa, said the pigeon. I will not. Me neither. No, I won't, says the ducks. Say it, say it. Listen to me, screamed the pigeon. No, we want Miss Casper, yelled me and la. No one likes me, moaned the pigeon. I'm back. Did you let the pigeon be the music teacher? Good, thank you, says Miss Caspom. Maybe I can be the art teacher, says Pigeon. Don't let the pigeon teach the student songs. You'll never catch me, because I'm a bird. You'll never catch me. You have to remember this for the concert. I'm back. Holy cow. J JK, I'm Mr. Hayes. I'm sad. Bye. He totally, he'll totally make the students confused. Don't let the pigeon be play the piano, please. I'll be your best. I'll be your best friend. I'll give you extra recess. I want to be the music teacher. Please, please, please. I'll do your homework. Please, please, please. Uh, Hi, did you let the pigeon be the music teacher? No. Great. Have a nice day. Don't let the pigeon play the piano. You know, piano sounds fun, said the pigeon. Please! I'll play Hot Cross Buds. I'll play Free Don't March. I'll play it for all the chorus concerts. And, I, and I'll play your favorite song. And I won't break it. Come on! You never get to let me do anything. Please, oh, please, oh, please. <sighs> Ken Cordino is a little hungry. Hurry, Mrs. Norris. Hurry, Mrs. Norris. Hurry, Mrs. Norris. Find him a snack. Don't let the pigeon be the music teacher. Play the violin. Please, can I play the violin? I'll be your best friend. I'll give you 50 cents. Please, I'm going to play the violin. I will. Hi, did you watch the pigeon? Did he play the violin? Hmm? Bye. Oh no, he played the violin. Don't let the pigeon be the music teacher because he might tune the instrument too tight. Please, I'll give you 50 bucks. No! Hi everybody, I'm Mrs. Norris. I have to leave. Don't let the pigeon teach Whitney her lesson. Thank goodness she's gone, the pigeon says. I want to teach Whitney her lesson. He says, no, Whitney says, I'll give you $100, Whitney. That's way too low. There you go. I can be a teacher, please. I'll have the kids do no homework. I mean, extra homework, please. pretty please. I'll give them more recess or no recess. I'll do all of the things you do, like I'll correct papers. You know what? I could be a music teacher. Hey, has anyone seen Mr. Turkin? I can't find him anywhere. Don't let the 
It's me, Pigeon. Do you think anyone, anyone will recognize me? I look exactly like Mr. Turkin. I have glasses, dark hair, and brown shoes, too. I even look like him, too. Hee <laughs> hee! The Pigeon is playing the saxophone. Please let me be the music teacher. No. I'll teach the kids how to play their instruments. No! How about for a day? No! Come on, just let me be the music teacher. No! The pigeon tried to play an instrument, which was a alto saxophone. And the pigeon was not successful. The pigeon fell into the saxophone because he was playing the saxophone the wrong way. Don't let the pigeon do the attendance. Hi, I'm Mr. Turkin. I have to go to the middle school quick. Can you watch my kids in their lessons? Oh, yeah, and don't let the pigeon do the attendance. Okay, he's gone. So let's get to that attendance. No, pigeon. You won't have to practice flute. No. Why? Because. Because why? Pigeon. I'm back. Did you let the pigeon do the attendance? No. Maybe I can be the gym teacher. All of the music teachers are out of the room. Party time! Don't let the pigeon be the music teacher. The pigeon is writing on the whiteboard. Please let me be the music teacher. Please, I'll teach the kids. I'll be your best friend. I won't scribble. No! I'll give you a viola. Hi, I'll be gone for a while. Don't let the pigeons use the copier. I thought she'd never leave. Hey, can I use the copier? No. Why? I don't have to use all the buttons. I know how to print. See? Please! No, still, let me use the copier. I'll copy papers for all the students. I'll buy you donuts. No. <laughs> I'm back. Thanks for watching the copier. You didn't let the pigeon use it, did you? Thanks. Hey, maybe I can sing it. La 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 la. Don't let the pigeon play the computer. Hey, I'm going to a meeting, but don't let the pigeon play the computer. I'll give you M&Ms. Please, please, please. Maybe I can be the art teacher. Don't let the pigeon make the report cards. Yes, she's gone. Can I make the report cards? Please, I'll give you a, you an A+. Plus. No, please, I'll be your best friend. No, why not? Because I said so, I'll give you a, th a thousand dollars now. Thank you for not letting the pigeon be the music teacher. Boys and girls, Mrs. Iyer had an awesome idea. She thinks we should write a new story about this. Don't let the pigeon do the pigeon project because he will sit there saying things about him like, I'm awesome. The bad thing is, the pigeon did do the pigeon project. I'm back, said Mrs. Cassabom. The pigeon quickly flew out the window, but Mrs. Cassabom saw what was on the board and freaked. Thank you for watching our story. The end. Or is it? Dun, dun, dun. Our production team. Thank you to Mrs. Iyer for the story idea and for helping us write our individual stories. Thank you to Mrs. Kassebaum for composing our song and creating this video. 
Thank you to Ms. Hillary Burns for the additional narrations. And thank you to our classmates for writing this wonderful story.